Injuries in sports often go hand in hand. Whether you're an occasional weekend warrior or an everyday athlete, the idea of an injury that keeps you away from your favorite sports can be a harrowing thought. Sometimes injuries may be chalked up to bad luck or other circumstances that are out of your control. While it seems impossible to completely prevent sports injuries, it surely can be reduced. In fact, research has shown that sports injury rates can be lowered as much as 25% if only athletes take appropriate preventative action. There are precautions and steps you can take to help prepare yourself for activities and prevent sports injuries. And in today's video, we'll tell you what these steps are, from cooling down, drinking plenty of water, resting, not playing when you're injured, to eating healthy and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Warm Up Warm up is one of the most important and significant ways to reduce the likelihood of injury when playing sports. A significant warm up session should last at least 5 to 10 minutes and involve gently stretching and exercising muscles to prepare them for the strenuous activity to follow. It is vital to start the warm up slowly and build up gradually to a more brisk and energetic pace. Warming up this way allows an increased flow of blood to reach your muscles. This increases the flexibility of the muscle fibers and significantly reduces the risk of pulling or straining a muscle. You can include warm-up exercises like steady walking and jogging. These activities allow you to gradually increase the pace to further prepare your body for more strenuous exercises. When you have warmed up, you can undertake some gentle stretches to lengthen the muscles and tendons, further preventing injury. Pay particular attention to stretching those muscles which will be used during your exercise. Do you warm up before playing a sport or do you find it too much of an effort? Tell us quickly in the comment section below. Number 2. Use the correct protective equipment for some sports, protective equipment is important, especially when the sport or activity involves physical contact and other players and participants. Protective equipment may include shin pads, boxing gloves, or protective headgear. All this equipment is designed to prevent injury to vulnerable parts of your body. It's also important to wear correct footwear when participating in sports. The correct shoes can offer support to your foot or ankle, helping prevent any twisting and injury. Protective headgear is obviously extremely important, as helmets protect your skull and brain from damage. This is vital in contact sports where you may knock your head with other players. Number 3. Drink plenty of fluids Whatever sport you play, it's essential to maintain your fluid levels to avoid dehydration. If you become dehydrated, you'll not be able to regulate your body temperature as effectively, which means that you'll risk overheating or hypothermia. Dehydration will also adversely affect your performance, as your blood volume will be reduced and you'll be less able to deliver oxygen to your working muscles. It's best to start any activity well hydrated. You can assess this by checking if your urine is clear and not concentrated. Drink before and during your sporting activity. Continuing to drink after you have finished will ensure that weight loss through fluid depletion is replaced. Remember that alcohol in any drinks containing caffeine can lead to increased dehydration. Drinking copious amounts of fluid during activity has been shown to lead to electrolyte disturbances, particularly in activities that are prolonged for more than two hours. In endurance events, it's important to drink approximately 600 milliliters of fluid an hour. Number 4. Wear appropriate clothing There is no benefit to exercising when you're dehydrated or have hypothermia, so always wear appropriate clothing, which should be light and permits your sweat to evaporate freely. Sweat only cools you when it evaporates off your body. Conversely, don't deliberately wear excessive clothing that may cause you to overheat. If you do, you'll lose even more body fluid unnecessarily, which can have an adverse effect. Sweating excessively does not help you lose more fat. In hot conditions, the weight difference before and after a bout of exercise is mainly body fluid, all of which must be replaced for you to maintain a healthy state. Number 5. Progress gradually Try not to overdo it when beginning a new activity. Build on your fitness levels and set goals. Knowing your limits means you have less chance sustaining a sports injury. A lack of fitness increases your chance of experiencing a pulled muscle or heat-related injury such as heat exhaustion. Attempting to do too much when your body is not conditioned for it will also increase your risk of an overuse injury. Look at your exercise programs in terms of fit, that is, frequency, intensity, and time. Only one of these areas should be increased each week, as a general principle. If you have a chronic illness, a family history of heart disease, or are over 40 years old and have not exercised for some time, a checkup by your doctor prior to undertaking vigorous exercise is always advisable. Number 6. Be in proper physical condition to play a sport Keep in mind the weekend warrior has a high rate of injury. If you play any sports, you should adequately train for that sport. It's a mistake to expect the sport itself to get you into shape. 
Many injuries can be prevented by following a regular conditioning program of exercises designed specifically for your sport. Number 7. Rest Athletes with a high number of consecutive days of training have more injuries. While many athletes think that the more they train, the better they'll play, this is a misconception. Rest is a critical component of proper training. Rest can make you stronger and prevent injuries of overuse, fatigue, and poor judgment. Number 8. Focus on technique Incorrect technique for any sporting activity is likely to result in injury. Resistance training injuries are the most common and are usually caused by an overzealous approach and an attempt to lift heavier weights. By focusing on correct technique, you'll avoid injury, perform more efficiently, and get greater gains from your sessions. Seek guidance from reputable exercise professionals or sporting coaches who will be able to advise you and provide expert guidance. Time spent at this stage will reap long-term rewards in the form of improved performance and no training downtime due to injuries. Number 9. Know the rules of the game Traffic lights at intersections help prevent crashes between the many cars and trucks that drive on the roads together. This works because drivers know the rules and follow them, at least most of the time. It's the same way with sports. When players know the rules of the game, what's legal and what's not, fewer injuries happen. You and the other players know what to expect from each other. For instance, you know that in soccer you can't come from behind, crash into a player's legs and steal the ball. It's illegal and safer to go after the ball rather than the player. With sports that use plays, it helps to understand the plays and what your role is in each one. Being where you're supposed to be can help you stay out of harm's way, too. Number 10. Don't play when you're injured This is a really important one. If you love sports, it's tempting to get right back into the game even after an injury. But playing when you're hurt or before an injury has had the chance to fully heal is a bad idea. It can lead to an even worse injury, one that might sideline you for a long time. Be honest with your parents and coaches if you've been hurt. See a doctor for your injuries when necessary and follow their advice about how and when to return to practice and play. Number 11. Get proper sleep Fatigue is a major risk factor for injury. Sleep deprivation is an almost universally underestimated problem. It's a major factor in chronic pain. It impairs athletic performance, getting more sleep boosts performance, and injury rates and recovery are probably affected too. People who actually do get enough sleep are extremely rare, and of course actual insomnia is a common problem. Insomnia treatment is not as hard as you think, and it's a great indirect injury prevention tip. In today's day and age, falling asleep has become somewhat a difficult task. Watch this video titled 9 Natural Ways to Help You Sleep to help you fall asleep naturally. Now back to ways to avoid sports injuries. Number 12. Cool Down if warming up is important, cooling down is also essential. After working out or training, you have to spend at least 10 minutes of performing gentle exercises that will return your heart rate to a normal pace. By cooling down, you're allowing your body to remove excess wastes and allow the flow of oxygen and nutrients into your muscles. What's your favorite sport to watch and play? What has been your worst sports injury? Let us know in the comments section below.